Hello everyone, welcome back. Sorry, this seat that I'm on is really squeaky, so if ever you hear that. These are pictures I got from Decineo. We're doing a collaboration together and I have to hang them this weekend. It's on my to-do list, but I'm just getting myself ready. So I figured I'd start the vlog. I'm having a coffee. I was also just thinking, I just did my makeup like just very natural, easy makeup today. Sorry, it's a bit bright now. But I was just thinking to myself that the texture of my skin felt really bad. I was like, what is going on? Like, I've been so good to my skin. I've been like really, really looking after it while I've been home because I've had a bit of time. And I was putting on my makeup and you can even see, I'll try and show you up close now when I finish this, but it looks like the texture is kind of bumpy. And I was thinking to myself, what am I doing different? And it clicked with me. I ran out of my Dr. Dennis Gross exfoliating pads about two weeks ago and I've ordered them, but they haven't arrived yet. So I haven't been using them for two weeks. I don't know if you can see, like this is very up close and personal. Yeah, look, you can even see it. It's kind of like bumpy and textury and I haven't been using those exfoliating pads and that is 100% it. So it just goes to show like the difference that those make and especially when you're using them and then you stop using them. That's when you see and that's how you know a product works for you. When you stop using it or like if you run out of it or whatever. This is the worst hair curling job I've ever done and of course I'm filming it. On the days I'm doing it. But yeah, that's how you know how a product is is good and it is works for you. Yeah, I wanted to just tell you that while I was thinking about it. I figured I'd just finish curling my hair with you at the start of this vlog. I really didn't even plan on getting ready that much today. I don't have anywhere to go as usual, but I just wanted to make myself a little bit better. So I'm just doing it kind of roughly, to be honest. I'm not doing it too carefully, so don't take this as a hair tutorial. I actually did post a hair tutorial on my Instagram last week, a reel, just a very quick 30 seconds. Also, another thing, why do Instagram reels now only let you have 30 seconds to make the video? I know you can do IGTV, I get it, but if you're also in this space, you'll know that Instagram are pushing real content so much more. So like if you're doing those kind of videos, you may as well do a reel because there's a better chance of it get, doing better and getting views and stuff. But 30 seconds, it's hard to show some things in 30 seconds. So I had to like really speed it up. So I'm sorry if it's a bit fast, but that's why. But maybe this will give you a bit of an idea if you're like still a bit confused. So flat as possible, like that. Hold. Of course, my memory card was full when I was doing that. But anyway, I held it in my hand for five seconds, let it go, fell really nicely. And I think there's just like one bit. When I'm in a rush, I'll do bigger pieces of hair. Not that I'm in a rush, but you know when I don't want it to be totally perfect. I'll just do bigger pieces. Like if I was reading it properly now, I'd split them up into two, but because I really don't even need to be curling my hair today, I'm just doing it for the sake of doing it. A bigger piece like this. And then hold it in the hand. Like it is kind of hot, that's good. And then let it fall like that. Okay, so that is my hair curled so now what i do is i literally just mess it up okay so see it's kind of like it is a bit curly so what you can do that is you can just brush out the pieces don't go mad now like don't go really heavy with the brushing because you don't want to like take away all the curls but just you know give it a bit of a fluff and then you know it hair oil always with the hair oil at the end I've actually become very much, I think I've become much more laid back since I've come home to Ireland. I feel like if I was doing this, I think it's a good thing because I feel like before to show like hair tutorials and makeup chats and stuff, I'd always make, I'd always really want to make them like perfect. Like I had a nice top on, I had a nice background, but there's something about this trip home to Ireland and maybe I'm just in this industry longer and stuff now, but I just feel like I'm I'm getting better at not making everything so perfect just like turning on the camera and chatting with you and I actually am really enjoying it so much more like I'm such a perfectionist and I actually don't think that's a good thing I think for years being a perfectionist was good because everything would be so great but it's actually not always a good thing because you stop yourself from doing things because you're so focused on having everything perfect and I just think I've kind of let go of that a bit in the last couple of months and yeah i feel like i'm just enjoying <laughs> making content and stuff a bit more so okay that's it i washed it last night as you can see i'm lacking a bit of volume up here 
So when that happens, sometimes then I'll just pop a bit of dry shampoo in. But I think I'll leave it for a minute now. I'll, I'll do that later. And then I also do hairspray as well. Even though, do I need to be putting hairspray on my hair today? Maybe I'll forget the hairspray. I'll just do the oil today. So I just popped a bit of this. It's the Gizu oil. I love it. I'll link it below and I'll link cheaper alternatives because this stuff is pricey. Not going to lie. And then, yeah, that's it. So a simple makeup. Let me show you my skin up close. Can you see? Well, first of all, I have this big spot. And the good thing about YouTube is that there's no filters. <laughs> you can't fake stuff on YouTube. This is like truly my skin. And I'm really happy with my skin at the moment. Like truly, I think in the last couple of weeks, or no, the last couple of months since I've been home, I've been doing a new routine. And with the exfoliating pads, I was so happy with my skin. I just thought it felt plump. It felt hydrated. It was looking good. But I just think now since I haven't exfoliated, see, so you can see the little bumps. I don't even know if you're going to know what I mean, but I know myself when I put on my foundation, the foundation's kind of sticking to parts and that's because I need to exfoliate my skin. So those pads, I'll link them below. I have them reordered already. They're like orange and white. I'll pop a picture of them here. So that's me more or less ready for the day. Nowhere to go, but I do feel a bit better when I make a slight effort. Like I just have a tiny, tiny bit of this Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer on just to kind of cover up a little bit. Bit of mascara, brows, a bit of lipstick, a bit of gloss over it, and yeah, I'm ready to go. So, anyway, let's properly start this vlog now that that's done. Okay, a rare occurrence, I'm being driven today. It's not that rare. <laughs> I've literally driven you everywhere since we got yeah, home. Yeah, but on other trips, I usually drive you everywhere. So obviously I had the Mercedes. I still have it. Um, but my dad just washed it. And I want to take some pictures of it tomorrow. And I don't want to wreck it up now going to the beach. So Kevin has agreed to drive me for once. We have little Foggy here with us. She runs through the car when she knows we're going to Ross. She can just tell. How are you, Kevin? I'm great. Yeah, it's so nice. The sky looks so pretty. <laughs> oh, God bless that you. That is so dangerous. <laughs> I My know, hair. sneezing when you drive is so dangerous. Whoa, thank God there's nothing coming. <laughs> oh my God, it looks so pretty. I was like pink and blue, the sky on the camera. Later in the day, we're back home. We just chilled out for the night. Had lots of yummy food. I'm just about to get ready for bed now. Just about to do my usual skincare routine and take off all my makeup and stuff. I just popped on a bit of lip balm there. While I'm gonna talk to you here, my lips are after getting kind of dry again. But I find this Elizabeth Arden the best of everything. This one, it's like a tried and tested, is it? Yeah, tried and tested <laughs> product. It's been around for ages. I just popped some of that on there. But I have something to show you. Actually, two things, and it's kind of to do with my bed. I'm actually going to film a video about my bedding, I think, probably before I go back to New York, because lots of you have been asking about the set and the actual bed and stuff. And I don't know about you, but I'm very, very into having a nice, comfortable bed. Like we spend so much time in our beds. We spend half our life in bed when you think about it. So I think it's really important to have good stuff. So I'm gonna film a video about that. And you, I'm really into having like a kind of like a hotel 
style bed. I want it to be so comfortable and I've just been always trying to get that <laughs> and I feel like my bed here in Kerry is really nice. So I'll film a video. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that and how to like properly make a bed and make it look perfect and comfy and luxurious and things like that and not like break the bank while you're doing it. That's the key. But anyway, that's for a different video. But I have two things I want to talk to you about just before I go to bed. I just remembered. First of all, electric blankets, guys. I have an electric blanket in my bed and carry. It's just back here. You just do the the heat adjustment over there. Best thing ever. I pop it on for like five, ten minutes while I'm taking off my makeup and doing my routine. And then by the time I go into bed, it is oh, it's so toasty. Like I'm a person that's always cold. So I love it. And then the second thing I wanted to talk to you about, and this is actually a collaboration I'm doing. And I've been testing this out. I haven't shown you yet. I've been testing it out over the last few weeks because I really wanted to see if I saw a difference before I shared it to you but basically it is a pillow and just as I was talking about the bed before this like we spend so much time in bed and I truly think that like having something like the right pillow is so important and this pillow so it's from a brand called sleep and glow I'll turn around the camera now and I'll actually show it to you properly but basically it's a pillow that helps with anti-aging so i actually did so much research into it when they got in touch because i really wanted to like learn about the kind of science and stuff behind it but basically when you're younger you go to sleep and i'm a side sleeper and this is very very good if you're also a side sleeper so basically when you're young you go to bed you sleep on your regular pillow and you know sometimes like these lines will appear and they'll start to form or you'll wake up and it'll feel a bit puffy or you'll see kind of a crease and stuff but when you're young your skin has enough collagen to bounce back it'll just a couple of minutes and your skin will just bounce back and go back to normal but as you get older your skin doesn't have as much collagen doesn't produce as much so those lines start to actually stay for longer and the puffiness stays for longer and your skin just isn't able to react the way it used to so the founder behind this pillow was noticing that in her skin and she was going and she was looking into fillers and things like that and she started to think like you know they're all just temporary measures she was thinking to herself how can i maybe create something that will help me actually prevent it from happening so she created sleep and glow and it is so good i've been testing it out i've been sleeping on it it is the most comfortable pillow and also a pillow that works for you and works for your skin you know how much i'm into skincare i'm really really into it and i don't have a big spot on my face during this video but i think it's from the masks unfortunately but it's it's nearly going away it's getting there but i actually sleep on my right side a lot so when you're a side sleeper like you know you sleep on your pillow and it scrunches up your face like this and those lines they do appear so basically i'll see if i can actually show you let me turn around first and show you the pillow and then i'll show you me lying on the pillow okay so my bed is also white so it's a little bit tricky to see but basically it's memory foam so it really like adjusts see the way like that stays down now it adjusts to the shape of the way you sleep it protects your neck it also it really encourages sleeping on your back and sleeping on your back is the best way to sleep for your skin because your skin isn't you know touching off anything it's like has its room to breathe and just be normal so it's made in a way that makes it very comfortable to sleep on your back but then if you do turn to your side like i do i haven't fully kicked the habit it's designed in a way that your skin isn't pressing too hard on the pillow and it's not causing those creases and causing those wrinkles and long-term effects so it's just brilliant let me just see if i can <laughs> I don't know I'm going to film me lying on it, but let me just show you. I also don't want to get makeup on and I need to take off my makeup, but okay. So this is me sitting on my back. Oh my God, it's so comfortable. And then let me just protect it with my hair. But if I turn to the side, as you can see, where you can see that my skin isn't directly on the pillow. So comparing it to a regular pillow, you're just giving your skin that little bit of buffer. And it's so comfortable like i'm so fussy about pillows if you if tommy was here now i'd i'd get him to say it to you but i have bought so many pillows in the past in new york and 
I just hate them. I'm like, I sleep on them a couple of nights and I just give them to Tommy, <laughs> I switch them over. I'm so particular and I think it just makes such a difference when you have a good pillow for A, your quality of sleep and then again also your skin. So really wanted to share this. I'm gonna leave a link down below for you. I read on their site as well that I think it works out at something like $33 per year over the space of five years. Like that's what the cost overall when you break it down works out as. So it is an investment initially, but it is something that you're going to have for a long, long, long time. And when you break down the cost, it makes sense, you know? And I think if you were to kind of update your regular pillows every couple of years or every year, it would work out the same. And you just need this one pillow. <laughs> so obviously I have like my decorative ones, but this is the only one I sleep on now. I absolutely love it. So yeah, that's my little recommendation <laughs> for today's vlog. I just really like it and you know I'm very particular about the brands I work with and what I promote to you and I've been testing this out now. I think I have it about three weeks at this stage and I just really wanted to like get comfortable in it and see if I actually really enjoyed it and 110% recommend. I love it. I think it's really innovative and I love working with brands as well that are kind of doing new things and different things so sleep and glow i'll leave a link below in the description box um i also have a discount code which i'm always happy <laughs> to get from a brand i always ask them if they'll give me a discount code because it just i don't know it's just nice to be able to offer you something so i'll pop that on the screen here i'll also write it in the description box as well so you'll have all the details down there the links everything and if you have any questions let me know and if you do get it let me know as well and let me know what you what do you think of it? So yeah, I wanted to just share that before I pop into bed. I'm pretty tired. We went for a good bit of a walk actually when we went to Ross and then we came home and just ate so much and I'm actually in a bit of a food coma. So I'm gonna get ready for bed, get some sleep and I'll chat to you in the morning again. Good morning. Okay, so it's not the next day, but it's the day after that. And guys, it's time to drop back my Mercedes. I just have it on now because I'm just about to go and put on my seatbelt. I must just drop it to a location and then they're going to pick it up from there. So I won't actually be meeting anyone or anything. Um, but yeah, so sad to have to give it back. This was such a dream collaboration. I know I've said that loads over my Instagram and here, but truly it was one of the highlights, I think of like my career so far. I know that's kind of a big statement, but it's just such a well-known luxury brand. And yeah, it was a dream and I loved driving both of the cars. This is the coupe one. There's loads of information on my Instagram. That's where I've kind of been doing everything, like pictures and stories and all that kind of stuff. And there'll be more to come, I think, even when this goes live. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions about them. One last drive now, I'm gonna pop on my seatbelt and then I gotta get back and get to work. It's quite early, I think it's only about nine. Yeah, it's only nine, so we have the whole day ahead. Okay, home again, and I'm coming to you. I'm very glad I'm just shooting some pictures, just trying to get the end of the light for something that I've already filmed for, for the next vlog. So if you like this blazer, watch the next vlog and you'll know more, but I'm just finishing up what I had to do for that. So that's done. Now I'm gonna go downstairs, make coffee. I'm gonna show you our new machine that we got. It's so nice and it's been making the nicest coffees. Okay, somebody needs to take these clothes away from me because I keep wearing the same thing when I'm not shooting or like having to go somewhere. The H&M hoodie <laughs> and you know it. The Marks and Spencer leggings. I can't even remember if I've already talked about these in this vlog, but I probably have knowing me, but anyway, I need a coffee to get me through the rest of my to-do list. But honestly, I know I've linked these before, but these two, perfect combination for the times we're living in. H&M hoodie and Marks and Spencer leggings, and of course, the Uggs. These Uggs, I can't see them anywhere yet. They haven't seemed to come back in stock anywhere. I've, I'm always like on the search. Some of you ask me about them and stuff, so if I do see them, I'll let you know. Hi, little Vogie. Are you chilling for yourself with your sister? Hello, Kim. Hello, Pac. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Okay, this is our new baby. We still have our old coffee machine just while we're getting used to it, but this is it. How good does it look? So it's kind of similar to the one I have in New York, but it actually has a few features that are much better. I'm thinking and just full transparency I am doing collaboration with them on Instagram not here on YouTube but I want to just be like fully transparent so I will link it down below but I'll put ad next to it because I am 
working with them but you know me i don't mess around when it comes to coffee i am not going to recommend something <laughs> that i don't like when it comes to coffee and we've had this now for i guess a week or two at this stage and we've really got a chance to try it out and so far so good really really nice coffee from it so i'm gonna just make a quick um when i make an iced americano or a hot one maybe a hot one actually because it's a little bit chilly outside and i'll show you the process <laughs> Not the fanciest one the machine can make, but I just felt like that now. But you can do so many, like that was just regular coffee. You could do espresso, which I use for my iced coffees. Long black, flat white, latte. I'm hiding my finger because I just broke a nail. I, my gels are, okay. I probably should have just ignored it, but my gels are still on and one just came off, so just ignore that. Um, cappuccino, latte. It's so good we currently have bean and dingle beans in and i think these are new ones now we got as well in our local cafe oh, i love it it's such a good machine okay i'm gonna sit down for a minute enjoy this sunshine we're having this evening comes and goes one minute it's sunny next minute it's literal hailstones so i'm gonna enjoy it while it's here i'm actually not used to having hot coffee i'm such an iced coffee person but since we got that machine i'm trying and it makes like amazing lattes and cappuccinos i've filmed some content for my instagram so that'll be coming up so if you want to see more about the machine just head over there as i said working together over there so not an ad or anything here just making my <laughs> my daily coffee so i said i'd show you but i think i'm gonna finish up this vlog here i hope you enjoyed it was definitely once again a mix of <laughs> lots of different stuff that's just the way things are at the moment but this is me now for the evening i have emails emails and editing to do i kind of got my shooting done now so i have to just go to my computer so it's not going to be a very interesting rest of day as much as i would like it to be i'm just going to be on my computer so i'll leave it here thank you so much for watching be sure to use my discount code if you want to look into that pillow it is so good slept in it again last night it is really really good and hopefully i'll see a difference now in the long term and if you have any questions about it let me know or anything else in this video and i'll see you in the next one talk to you soon bye